Well, we're only halfway through 2024, but I'm here to tell you that this weekend should be the most comfortable one of the year. It's meteorologist Joe Martucci here. Good to be with you. Let's take a look at our short weather report card. You know that I keep track of the summer weather on PressofAC.com. We've been doing it for seven summers now, and this one looks to be a winner of a weekend. We're going to go B plus on Friday, A on Saturday, and another A on Sunday here. Plenty of comfortable weather around. Now, we do have to watch for some showers Sunday, but I believe it's going to be during the evening. So I'm optimistic, and we're going to go with an A. The reason why we're seeing this dry weather is not the letter A, but the letter H. We take a look at our uh, dew point map here, and you'll see this high pressure that's to our west. And as a result, we get a northwest wind around the clockwise spinning high pressure system, and that means dew points in the 40s. Now, dew points in the 40s are something you would see in October or November here. You know, this is early June by the time we get towards uh, Saturday across the area. So very comfortable with our dew points here. And that high pressure is also going to keep this stormy low pressure away. So dew points staying low as we go into Friday and Saturday. Now, when we get to Sunday, this moves offshore. And that means we get a southwesterly wind. Usually that brings more soupy air across the region. But dew points still in the 50s, getting up to around 60 degrees. But even that is what I would like to call just a touch humid. Here's a look at our future cast and our air pressure. The white lines are isobars, lines of equal pressure. They're not too close to each other, and that's good news. That means it's a light breeze. We go into Friday, not really a cloud in sight as we go into the day. They're offshore. We go into Friday night, still stays clear. Saturday, a good amount of sunshine to kick off your day. A wonderful day for the boat, the beach, the barbecue, anything outside here. And as we go into our Saturday night, yes, yeah, some clouds move in, but I don't think it's a problem, really. It's just some fair weather clouds we see this rain to our west at noon on sunday and i think it stays away at least during the daytime hours on sunday here's a look at our forecast conditions 55 to 60 degrees on our friday morning here we go into the afternoon very good what i like to call life weather good to be outside good to leave the windows open temperatures in the mid 70s inland at the shore around 70 little chilly at least for me to lay out in a bathing suit all day at the beach but still really nice to be on the boardwalk or the arcade or just to walk around town here looking like really nice conditions for your friday friday night we fall into the 60s we'll bottom out 55 to 60 again at 7 a.m saturday and then we go into the day here high temperatures in the 80s inland Good pool weather, low to mid 70s here along the Jersey Shore itself from Cape May all the way up to Sandy Hook. Now we take a zoom out and we fast forward a clock to next week and we look for our next chance of rain again. Perhaps a shower to Sunday night, but our next big rainmaker really probably isn't until the middle or even a later part of next week. This is the European model and it's showing that rain staying away until Really, maybe sometime on Friday here. Now we go to the GFS model, and then we take a look at when rain's supposed to come in on this model, and that's also maybe not until Friday. Even that could stay to our south. So we are looking for another dry week for the most part next week. And, you know, after all the rain we've had in January, February, March, and April, we'll take this. One more thing, too. June 1st starts hurricane season, poised to be very active. Colorado State University forecasting 23 named storms. Those are tropical storms and hurricanes, 11 of them hurricanes, five of them a category three, four or five, well above the average here and even forecasted to be more active than last year, which was already pretty busy across the Atlantic Ocean. So we're gonna have more for you on that on our website Saturday. So be sure to tune back in. Here's a look at our inland seven day forecast. Wonderful stretch here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, maybe a shower, Sunday night to early Monday. Next shot of rain after that, we'll say Thursday, it really could hold off until Friday, maybe even next weekend. We'll just say Thursday for now. Over at the shore, look at those lows. Generally uh, in the 60s here, but not too humid, and that's good. You can leave the windows open at night. High temperatures in the 70s overall, looking mighty fine to me.